Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your finance, career, your money reading for Gemini. How are you guys, Gemini? Gemini. What does Gemini need to know about their finances, their career, job, or money? Gemini. Okay, it's about taking a risk. <laughs> Some of you are about thinking about taking a bit of a risk, going off on a new path here. Okay, interesting energy. Yeah, so I feel as though you're being strong and you're brave, okay? So I do feel there is some kind of confidence in this. I feel like you feel confident. But because of the way the card is laid, I have to let people know, some of you may not be confident about a risk, okay? But I feel like it's telling you, be strong and be brave, okay? Because I feel like you can be confident about this. Yeah, so there's a tower and epiphany. <laughs> Could be ending a job, okay? The tower coming down. Uh, you might have some fears of in, impending doom or something here. Not feeling confident about something here. So it is a choice, possibly a choice. Uh, between you and another person you may be investing in something with another person uh, okay so I feel like there could be something there the tower is sometimes that fear of impending doom not feeling confident about some kind of a risk could be it to do with two jobs one that you love one that you don't uh, I see the five of wands yeah a little bit of co conflicting energy you may have an argument with somebody about something too some kind of risk that you want to take Okay, yeah, moving away to avoid a disaster. I think there's something here that you need to learn. So if you are thinking of investing with another person, I think you're going to go off on your own. I don't think you're going to risk investing or uh, buying anything, okay, because it has to do with a risk. There's a little bit too much risk, and that's what I feel for some of you. But it's telling you to be strong and to be brave. You may have to tell somebody, uh, no, there may be a conflict, okay, a little bit of conflicting energy there. Conflicting points of view, not seeing eye to eye is what I'm seeing here to do with something. Yeah, so I see the Eight of Wands. I see you taking off in another direction. I see a lot of talk back and forth. So I wonder if you're uh, partnering up with somebody with something and you're not feeling confident with this person. Okay, you may feel like this is somebody who they could take your ideas, things like that, move on. Okay, once they learn everything they need, right, there's some kind of disagreement or con conflicting energy, and it could be just conflicting points of view. So <laughs> you could just, you may, you may be thinking about that, taking a risk and offering somebody, you know, um, something. It could be to do with anything, a job, build. it's about building something, definitely because of the tower. It's about a foundation, a financial foundation. There's, there's a sense of doom that something won't work, so... Yeah, I think you're going to move on to avoid. Yeah, you're going to go it alone. <laughs> you have everything you need. You're going to do your own thing. You're, this is about your creature comforts at home, about your future, uh, future planning. So if you were planning on partnering up with someone, I don't think you're going to. I think you're going to avoid a conflict. I, I feel like you're not going to take a risk with someone. It could be someone coming towards you wanting you to. And I don't think you're going to. I feel like you're going to go it alone. You're kind of reading between the lines. I see things speeding up. Uh, I see some of you being very busy, enjoying the fruits of your labors. Yeah, I feel like you're kind of good where you're at. So that's what this is about. Yeah, so this is being responsible for yourself, pulling the weight on your own. You have a lot of responsibilities, but I feel like you're going to meet this head on. And I feel like you're going to go it alone. I don't think you're going to take a risk. But for those of you, because I know it, it's going to be the opposite. It always is for some people uh, where you don't feel confident, okay, because you have this fear that if something happens, this person will just move on and leave you holding the bag, <laughs> okay, the responsibilities. But some of you may go for it. You you may. You may. It's just a reflection on the past. Maybe you've partnered up with someone before and you've partnered up and you took a risk and it didn't work or it's the other person as well, okay. So just like I say, it could completely flip. Yeah, it's about being very wise, uh, speaking your truth, Um you know, something to be learned here. You're learning something from the past uh, about relying on another person to pull their weight. I think you're going to do this alone. I, I feel like you're going to do this solo. I do. Uh, I feel as though you're just kind of waiting right now, looking out there. This could be for, it looks like it could be some kind of investment to the foundation, a house, a home, investing in a home together. 
Okay, it could be anything. It could even be a trip, because but it's definitely money because that's that tower, that foundation. It's not it's built on shaky ground here. So so yeah, I think you're looking elsewhere. You're kind of just sort of waiting to see how things go. But I think you're gonna keep looking. Okay. Uh yeah. So if you have a particular person uh, you're thinking of, I think you're gonna avoid a disaster with them. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. And there's that leap of faith. Yeah, leaving something in the past. You're going to go off on your own here. You're going to do this by yourself. But I can see some of you, uh, maybe you have taken risks in the past, partnered up with people, and then there was conflict. So it's about learning from the past, taking the things you know from past experiences. Okay, so tell me about the two of cups. Two people not really seeing eye to eye. And it could be a past energy too. Okay. So yeah, this is enjoying the fruits of your labors. You're going solo. Yeah, I, I feel as a lot of you are just, you're enjoying the fruits of your labor. You have everything you need. You don't really need another person for whatever this is. It's likely a house, a home, an investment, and a business, something. Okay. Something that's built on a shaky foundation. <laughs> yeah, see, it's to do with a house. That's what I say. There you go. Yeah, so it's definitely someone here who may be wanting you to invest. Maybe it's in a business, something in your community. There may be too many people involved, a lot of talk. could be a family situation, too, where you've invested in family, um, you know, bought a house or a home, and it didn't go very well. Someone didn't have much money. They didn't invest. They were more focused on themselves, okay? So it's a past energy. Wow. This is going to be a sudden decision, I think. I think you're going to make up your mind here. Uh, if you have a person who's coming towards you and they want you to invest, I don't think you're going to. Uh -uh. I think there's too many people involved. It's, it, it could even be just a family or friend situation, um, something in the community, a business. It's building a house, a home, a foundation. See, the, uh, so some of you are going off on your, lo on your own. You could be moving to another location as well, another community. Wow. So definitely it could be some conflicts or a little argument to do with that. Conflicting energies between two people. Uh, there could be a lot of competition as well. Yeah, so you focused on your money, got everything you need, you see. Uh, you're kind of just, I feel like some of you are just kind of waiting for something here. Uh, you're kind of waiting for some, some information, some kind of news. Uh, I think it's actually going to be positive. I see you taking things you're learning from past to do with investing, money, finances, uh, investing in partnerships with friends, things like that. So, yeah, I think you're moving on. You're learning something here. You're learning from the mistakes of the past. You're looking out for yourself. You're looking out for number one. There's times in the past where you may have carried all the weight in a situation, okay, in a business, a contract, or buying a house, whatever. It, it's an investment, okay? It's a This is a financial investment. It's telling you to look out for yourself, yeah. Going off alone, starting something on your own. Things are becoming very clear here. See, there's that truth. You're seeing the truth, that aha moment, <laughs> okay, to start something new. So this is about your own success, looking out for yourself. Yeah, it's a little indecision there. And I feel that there is a bit of indecision, but there's something here that you need to see, okay? Uh, you might, someone maybe, like I say, it looks like someone's going to reach out to you, and I do feel like you have a lot of questions, but it has to do with past. You're taking something you've learned from the past about investing with friends or family, possibly, okay? Or to do with, uh, like I say, building a house, uh, buying a business, investing in something that you feel this is that sense of impending doom. Like, you, you're, I don't think you're willing to take a risk. Somebody may reach out and they want you to take a risk. I don't think you are. I think you're being very wise. Yeah, but there you yeah. go. So this is a change. I feel like there's some kind of change. You're kind of on the fence here or sitting here just waiting, uh, kind of looking around. Uh, some of you might be thinking, if you are thinking of buying a business or a house, uh, something to do with that financial foundation, you're looking elsewhere. You might even move. You might even relocate to another community, okay? So there's something with that for some of you, whether it's related or not. But I see this change, uh, this indecision. Some of you aren't going to change your mind. I feel like, you know, you're just kind of sitting there. You're just waiting for something to evolve, uh, moving, relocating. Uh, you might be waiting for something, though, like if there's a lot of people competing. If you're looking at buying a house or a business, a lot of competitors, stay grounded, be practical. You have everything you need. Uh, 
I don't think you're going to make any rash decisions. You're being very sensible, okay? This is enjoying the fruits of your labors. It's like somebody else wants to enjoy the fruits of all your hard work. You see, that's, you've been it's a been there, done that kind of energy is what I feel. Yeah, so there is this, whether this is a decision whether something is right for you. Uh, there's some kind of change. You may change your mind and decide it's not right for you. OK, but it's whether it's right or wrong, whether someone's a good fit. I mean, maybe you are looking for someone to invest in something, uh, but you need to look out for yourself because I feel there's someone here who's kind of doesn't have a lot of money. They want you to put more investment in or something. OK, so just watch that. This is a justice. OK, you may get some legal advice on that, uh, but it has to do whether, you know, ch this change, whether something's right for you. Uh, finding something that's just right it could be a business a home you know this investment so yeah this is an energy here look at that talking back and forth somebody reaching out there you know, kind of dangling the carrot the little bit of bait this is about knowing your self-worth looking out for yourself so i think you're going to just sort of let go of this i don't think you're going to go for it no i think some of you know like if you've invested in something with someone before it doesn't matter what it is and you couldn't rely on them to pull their weight in the end your this is you know um, an energy where you need to look out for yourself i feel like you've got this covered i do feel it's a lot of responsibility if you are thinking of buying a house maybe that's why you know doing this alone uh, like it could be about investing in a house maybe you're starting to think it's better to stay where you're at right now um I feel somebody here is going to reach out. There's some kind of communication, talk back and forth, a lot of busy energy. Um, some of you are very busy, but I do feel like that's that reaching out. Someone's dangling that carrot, and I don't think you're going to go for it. This is someone you know isn't going to pull their weight, okay? Uh, you're going to be left holding the bag in the end, and it's likely something that's happened before. Yeah, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, somebody here is doing some thinking about investing possibly this is someone who's very strategic they kind of uh, reach out uh, but this is their strategy is to get you to do all the work so a little caution there okay make sure that you communicate i, I don't think you're going to go for it yeah there's that offer that communication right this person uh, you're going to look at the details very carefully this is someone who may be not pulling their weight uh, they may leave you holding the bag. I mean, if you're reaching out to someone and you want them to invest in something, they could be worried about that. This is somebody who looks at the facts, very logical, but also very strategic. So it's about someone's intentions. Okay. Wow. Looks like Aquarius energy or Libra. Tell me about this King of Swords. Why is this here? Yeah. So if someone who doesn't have enough money or maybe they feel like you don't, uh, that they're going to be left holding the bag. It could be them. So look at the details. Like I say, it could go either way because I've got that fool card here twice. Okay. Both may have a little Aries in your chart or it's that, that leap of faith that going off on a new path. So, wow. Yeah, this is somebody here who's lacking. They either don't have enough money or they're thinking you don't, that you're reaching out to them because you want something because you don't have enough. But I actually feel like you do, okay? I, uh, Queen of Pentacles, focus on yourself. You have what you need. You don't really need anyone to invest in this as I think what it's telling you. I think this person's going to try to make you feel... Um, that you're not, you're the one. They're going to try to flip this energy on you because I see that change. And that's where you're going to see that energy. And I think it's about you looking out for, yeah, see, it's about pulling their weight. Somebody is, you know, they may feel like, if you're thinking of investing with someone, I don't know who they are, friends, family, someone in your social circle. You know, I think there's too many people involved. There may be a lot of talk and gossip back and forth. Who knows? But I do see positive news. I see you. I see a couple scenarios. Like I said, I see some of you thinking of moving, uh, buying something in another location. Maybe there's conflict about that. You don't see eye to eye about moving, you know, buying a home. It could be just an investment. But I see this tower, this something is built on shaky ground. Something isn't right. You're going to have that aha moment. They're going to make, just be careful this person doesn't, you know, they because I feel like they have a strategy here to uh, make you feel like you're the one that isn't good enough when they actually are the one that doesn't have enough money and i think you're going to get it here just really watch make sure you know uh, ask the questions be very discerning before you take any kind of a risk okay 
So yeah, very strategic. Somebody looks at the facts though. So tell me about this five of pentacles. This is someone who's definitely feels they don't have enough money or they're going to make you feel like you're not the right person or not good enough. Like you don't, but I think this person, uh, I think you have everything you need. I, I think you're just, this person might even offend you. They're not seeing your worth or value. It's like a lack of respect or something, the way they're going to communicate. Yeah, so I see a cycle ending. Things are going to go in your favor. Uh, I don't think you're going to go for this with this person. Yeah, you want to make sure things do go in your favor. This, if you sign any contract or any kind of negotiation, okay, I see justice here. Make sure you get um you know look at all the legal side of everything as well get a lawyer involved before you do to look at this because you may change your mind the person may i mean if this is somebody who didn't want to they may change their mind and come back towards you because they don't have enough money <laughs> just watch you don't get hold of your yeah because i think you're moving on you're taking lessons learned taking the knowledge the wisdom the things that you're going to find out possibly uh, from a lawyer okay it could be a legal situation where you need, need to because there's something you're not seeing uh, that's making you indecisive so I see you taking this and moving on some of you are going to relocate too you might move yeah you're going off on a new path you're creating and building something this has to do with a partnership but i think you're going to avoid it or you're not going to invest with this person you may choose another person it's possible um, you may maybe you don't you don't have all the money I don't know, but I feel like it's this other person. So interesting enough. So look at the details very, very carefully. Make sure that this is somebody who will pull their weight. Okay. This is someone who you can rely on. Um, you know, if something happens, maybe you're thinking of uh, relocating to another place, maybe talking to somebody about it. Maybe you feel like if you invest in something yourself, if something happens to this house, this investment, uh, can you rely on someone to help you out? It could be that simple. They could be at a distance. But I feel there's this uh, teamwork, cooperation, and compromise. And I feel like you're going off on another path. You're going to look for somebody more compatible. Okay, someone who you see eye to eye with when it comes to this uh, investing. Uh, especially if it's family or friends or someone in your social circle too. Like I feel like you've kind of been there, done that kind of energy so you've been there, done that, eight of wands, you're going to take off in another direction. It could be this person, too, who's in that, been there, done that, and they always get left out in the cold. There's some kind of talk back and forth. I think you're going to be holding on to your money, kind of protecting yourself, um, not going to budge here. It's telling you to hold on to your money and just kind of look out for yourself. I feel like you got this. You're going off on a new path. You're holding on to your money. You're protecting yourself. Yeah, you may have somebody who's, you know, trying to invest in something. They're holding on to you for money here. So, <clears throat> sorry. Yeah, so just look out for yourself. Look out for number one. I think you got this. I don't think you need anyone else. You might need to save a little bit more money as you go down this path. I see creativity. Uh, a little bit of compromise. You may have to compromise on your spending or you're afraid to compromise everything that you're holding on to, your savings here, okay, with this person. I don't think you're going to budge here, Gemini. Uh, I feel as though you have everything you need. But I do see the possibility of relocation and moving uh, here. Like I do see those two scenarios of something new, starting something new, a new business, uh, building a house, a new location, maybe someplace sunnier. Uh, I see that. But I see you kind of changing your mind and being indecisive here. All right. So take care, you guys. Save your money as you go down this path, okay? Uh, don't compromise your savings. Take the lessons learned from the past. All right. Take care. Bye for now.